everyone, my name is Amy, this is the Opinionated Woman and welcome back to my uh, weekly reading vlogs. This is the first proper full weekly reading vlog that I'm doing uh, since I had my little pride break. I had a little weekend vlog last week, but now we're back at it. We're doing the vlog thing again. Um, so I am physically, I am about halfway through now, I am reading a God in Ruins by Kate Atkinson. I spoke about it in my last uh, video. It is a follow-on novel from her Life After Life book that I read two years ago, um, following uh, Ursula, the main character in Life After Life's brother Teddy. Um, and really, it's just, it's a character study and a novel about people. Like, it's about people and their relationships to one another and the different ways that different people see different events, I even see the same events, so you do get perspectives from Teddy himself, from his daughter Viola, from her children Bertie and Sunny. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's, that's uh, about it. But what really amazes me about Kate Atkinson writing is that she manages to tell the story of this man and his family, but in a non-linear way that just makes sense. It almost feels like if someone was going to be telling you about their life, like it wouldn't be completely linear. They'd be jumping all over the place. And this does that, but you don't lose track of it at all. And there's no like spoilery things in it because it's not a big dramatic thing. It's about Teddy and it's about his life. So it, it's just so expert. Like you can tell Kate Atkinson is an absolute master of her craft the way she does this. So yeah, I'm super enjoying this one and I am motoring through it quite quickly. So maybe I'll be even be able to finish it this week. Then on audio, I'm listening to My Dark Vanessa. Uh, I ended last the last weekend vlog with me DNFing the Meet Cute Diary, and then I got onto My Dark Vanessa by Kate Alice Marshall. Uh, if you don't know, this book is following a girl who was groomed by her, t her teacher when she was um, a teenager, and subsequently had a, obviously, um, very illegal and horrendous relationship and now she is an adult and this man is being accused by other women of doing exactly what he did to her but from the part that I'm at now she f doesn't see it like that she doesn't see that he took advantage of her he doesn't see uh she doesn't see him as grooming she doesn't equate herself with that woman she very much speaks about that woman like you know you know she's lying this wasn't like that. She even talks to the guy. She even sees him, you know, to try and make him feel better. And it's just so insidious how someone like that can get into somebody's head and brainwash them to the point where they think that nothing happened to them, even though they are obviously experiencing the repercussions of that trauma. So yeah, that, that it's a heavy book, but I'm really enjoying it. it, it if you can enjoy it in that kind of way, it's written super well. So yeah, now today I need to, it's a, it's a cruising day today, which is my research day. So I usually have a, a research day before I write an article. So I've got two articles to research today. So I'm just going to cruise doing that, no problem. And I'm also going to finish filming my bullet journal video, which would have gone up by the time this vlog goes up. So I'll link it in the cards. Um, I just did the intro, which is why I have the makeup on and there's nice lighting and uh, everything like that. So yeah, let me get along with that and I will check in with you when I have a reading update.
Hi there, no reading update, but I know I told you guys what I was writing, uh, I think I told you in the last vlog, but basically yesterday I had to write a, a an article all about toast. <laughs> this one was the most wholesome freaking thing and I got paid decently for it, which is cool. And today I'm researching different types of coffee while I drink coffee. I like my job. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday. Um, I've been working today and I am currently about to do some cleaning. Excuse me. I was also doing some editing. So my video for Sunday is going to go up on time, which is great. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm listening to my dog Vanessa. Um, and that twitch is happening because obviously this book is about grooming, it's about an inappropriate relationship. And this is like because I can't say the R word on YouTube and also it's triggering for people but basically this teacher and this kid do have sex and uh, it's making my twitch um, it's making my, my ticks uh, sort of activated so I thought I better put the trigger warning in and if you at all sensitive um, then don't don't read this okay <laughs> promise um, Okay, I hope that'll stop soon. Uh Hello, um, you are right by my accelerator, um, my little doohickeys right now. Um, so yes, we are going for a little drive together. Um, so it's pissing it down with rain today. I'm very, very edgy and I, like find it hard to sit still. I've realized that that happens on days that are really cold. I find it so hard to sit still and uh, work at my desk, especially like I'm writing an article now that I'm really like struggling to get to the word count because it's like it's a really weird topic to be to have to write like 2,000 words for. Um, I can do that usually with another topic, like no problem, but yeah, this one's a bit of an odd one. Um, so I'm just popping to the shop since I need oat milk. I stopped drinking normal milk completely now, and I had coffee with normal milk in it the other day, and I couldn't finish it. It was disgusting. I was like, ugh. So like, that's very strange, um, but but good. I mean, plant base is, is good. I mean, I eat... I still eat meat and dairy and everything like that. It's just I don't don't like milk in my coffee. Um, so I am I've got like 150 pages left of um, a garden ruins. It's really fast. Like it's such a quick read. Um, I think just because of how good her writing is um, and how she keeps you on your toes, like because you're jumping between different time zones and stuff. Um, the only negative that I would say for this one in comparison to life after life is I very much don't I don't gravitate towards war stories that are on the front line so he's an RAF pilot um, and they do like describe a lot of him going over and bombing Germany which first of all I'm a pacifist I don't believe in guns I think it's so primitive the fact that humans solve their problems by murdering each other and throwing explosive things at one another and like literally shooting each other it's it's pathetic <sighs> um but yeah it's the world we live in unfortunately but in life after life it followed ursula and she was you know back at home like still doing work for the war effort and everything but um but like back in london um you know, sort of like on the home front, but he is uh, like actually going out and doing bombings and things like that. So that side of it, I'm not that enthused about, but generally like the way that she writes about the different characters and the different people that he uh, actually like works with, I suppose, um, there is like a, a good, interesting cast of characters. So yeah, besides that, I am really enjoying it. Um, I'm still reading my dog Vanessa. It's I've got like 
nine hours or something. It's a it's a big long audio book. Um, I don't have anything to update you on apart from what I was twitching about yesterday. That is, um, I don't know if there's going to be any more descriptions that are that um, triggering, but uh, I thought it was just it was definitely a heads up. So right now I just I, I spend a lot of the time going ew, 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 ew. <laughs> um, but it's written really well and I think it's an important thing to write about um, in this way because it really talks about how the actual survivors and victims of people like this invalidate themselves and try and make it sound like they weren't in the wrong, like the, the abuser wasn't in the wrong because they've been so brainwashed by it and groomed. Um, it's also really interesting seeing the manipulation tactics that he uses to make sure she doesn't tell anybody because it's textbook like manipulation but it's exactly what somebody in the situation would be saying to somebody and because she's a teenager she listens to what he has to say and it's really insidious um but okay i'm at the shops little car update is done <laughs> i'll chat to you later It is Friday morning, TGI fucking F. Yo, whenever I use the front facing camera, I'm like, I need to do my roots so bad, but I want to go blonder. So hopefully I'll be able to dye that in a vlog. Uh, that would be cool. I'll, yeah, I'll definitely dye it in a vlog. Um, so I am nearly done. Very nearly done. With a garden ruins. And the one thing that I wanted to come and talk about is that... So, T Teddy's daughter, Viola, has two kids, and she's a rather, like, shite mother. <laughs> like, in the respect of, like, she doesn't really try very hard. She's, like, very, very self-involved. She's very hard to be around, and I think just as a person, being around her is very difficult. So, her kids are now old enough to go and do their own thing, so off they go and do their own thing, and now she can't figure out why these kids don't want to come and spend time with her, why when she's in London they make excuses for why they can't see her, why when she's going overseas, why her son make excuses about why he can't see her. And she's always just like pondering, like, like why do these kids not want to see me? And it's like, because you're awful to be around. <laughs> just because you made them doesn't mean they're obligated to want to be in your life if you make being around you so painful and so tiring and horrendous and I think it's just something that I relate to on a personal level <laughs> so hard um I don't think I've really seen that sort of um seen this particular issue talked about in a book in this way it's not even directly discussed it's just like in passing um you know the kids don't want to see her and everything like that and she's always wondering why and <laughs> it's just very, very damn familiar, very damn familiar. So I'm going to start editing this vlog um, later. If if it's too long, I'm not going to put my new flat in it. If it is not very long, I'm going to put my new flat in it. So we will see. I will update you later. Um, I'm not going to. I'm definitely not going to finish my dark Vanessa for this vlog. There's still a hell of a lot left. Um, but yeah, carry on on like it was before. It's very harrowing, but also very important and very beautifully written. Okay, now I'm going to write an article about gluten. <laughs> Hi there. Um, yeah, so it's Monday. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, yeah, my plans kind of changed. I ended up spending three whole days with my girlfriend, which was 
freaking wonderful. Um, <laughs> so I didn't do much reading or anything like that. Um, I've done my research for my article for the day. I have about 20 pages left of this, so I'm just going to sit and read this, and then I'll come and finish up the vlog. just like this um i really enjoyed it i didn't enjoy it as much as life after life because um it didn't have as much uh, you know the magical realism aspect that that one did um i also don't really like the battle scenes it's just my personal taste i don't like books set at war um especially on an airplane you know i don't really have any uh any interest in airplanes <laughs> um but it was good. It did end with a story that, uh, so his aunt writes a series of books um, about him called, and, and the character is called Augustus. So at the, right at the end, it sort of calls back to the themes of life after life. And if you don't know what the themes are, uh, I suppose it is part of the premise, you know, that his sister um, dies and then reality carries on and then she dies again in a different way, but like nobody's aware of it. it yeah, it's hard to explain, very hard to explain. So it called back to that a little bit, and then it ended with a story, like an Augusta story. And I didn't really think that was necessary. I don't think it added anything to the reading experience. But um, yeah, I am now going to pick a new book, so I'm going to put that in the next vlog. So uh, if you liked it, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe down below, and tick on my bell for notifications. I'll check soon. Check you next time. Bye! -bye.